Hey. So, today, I decided that I needed a really good excuse to start using my voice a little bit more. And I was like, well, I'm not going to stop my normal content, but I do want to get into expanding a bit. So, today, we're going to go over understanding a little bit more about some of these skills that people seem to sleep on just a little bit too much, and some skills that I have no idea why people are sleeping on this. Uh, so, we'll start with that second one. So, today, we're going to go over infantry breath. It's one of those skills that people are like, kind of writing off a little bit too early because they think it can't be used in more practical ways or maybe they're just not thinking hard enough. I don't know. The point is, I'm just gonna throw some stuff in the background while explaining myself. And you know, like before, I have a priority list ready for you. I'm not gonna go over every single person, we'd be here all day, there's a lot of infantry units, but I have this list here and it'll give you a general idea of what you want out of your infantry breath user. So here is the list. We have a pretty good set of infantry units here that can definitely use it. Some that you don't want to use it on and some that, uh, what are you doing? Unless you like really, really want to do something specific with them, I wouldn't put it on them. Now starting from the top, we have our units that are definitely one of the best units for it. Usually it's units with built-in disencounter that have like pretty good mixed defenses or they have something special about them that they can use it on. This also means that they're really good at using it on themselves as well. Well, maybe not the healers. But we'll go over them and why they're up here so high. So one of the biggest things I see about people saying infantry buff is no good is because they can't put it on their fragile 10 defense mages. Well, here's the thing. If I were you, I would put it on a unit who's also equally as tanky as the unit you're trying to have received said infantry breath buff. So that means your really good super units that people tend to use. That means glue eating dragons. They're decent at it. They're pretty great at it. And you have frontline healers like Azama, Alyssa, and Brady. Now, if you're thinking, oh, wait, Brady? Well, of course, if you've seen the stat line at plus 10, and he is now a free to play unit, basically, and as long as you can roll for him in the four star pool, he makes for a very strong alternative over Alyssa and Azama if you don't really care for those characters. While he lacks in raw HP and defense as Azama, he does make up for it with really good speed, and it prevents him from being one rounded a lot more easier than, say, Azama would, despite him having very good base defenses. Units like Brave Ike, who can have things like special spiral loops with his Radiant Aether. But for this list, we're just going over who's great at holding this skill. We're not really assuming if they also have another user on the side who also has said skill. This is most likely people who are more likely to... This is mostly for people who most likely are less able to be sniped by, say, if you're playing AR and you're fighting an Ophelia or a Legendary Arm. These units are the most likely to not die by being sniped. Of course, you can always just prevent being sniped by running into said unit's uh, threat range. This breaks their rally traps and makes them attack first anyway. But if they're both on the same team, then you may have a problem and you might want to be able to fight both of them at once. But that's details for another day. The point is, we're just this is just a list and go over it. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I will go over some key some notable people in each part of the tier. So if you notice, on most of the avoid lists, you have all of the dancers except for two. Your, your singers and your dancers, you don't actually want them sitting beside you. And plus most of them are extremely fragile anyway, so letting your dancer or singer get sniped is usually not what you're trying to do. The only two exceptions to this are the two dancers that actually know what tanking is, and that would be Sylvia and Ninian. Now, Sylvia and Ninian have the very unique advantage of having a shitload of HP for some strange reason. This also makes them extremely tanky, and they have really good base speed, which means they're already hard. Which means they're pretty hard to one round. So, if you're thinking of a dancer to give it to. If you really need to pick one, it's one of these two that I would say are pretty okay at use, but they're still not that great because they're dancers and typically you're not sitting beside your dancer. But that's fine, if you really just want to give it to one of them. Very strong support units like Mel Corrin are pretty good at it, however, he's usually best off being two spaces away instead of one space away. That goes for other support units in general. Unless their support is spur related, where they have to be adjacent to an ally, then it's probably better to keep them two spaces away and go for a unit that would rather be attempting to tank. That means units with built in homes in their weapons like Ephraim. However, Ephraim Brez is a little bit lacking, but he's still very good at like not getting sniped, for the most part. 
I don't think he'll survive with Billy, though. Mm, I don't know. His HP is pretty good, but I still doubt it. Anyway, since most of the time you're going to get sniped from range, units like Faye and Faye, <laughs> I like how they're both like kind of next to each other, but both Faye's, whichever one you want to use, are pretty good at tanking from a distance. So having them behind said unit is very good. Plus with our Dragon Pal here, Faye, and this also goes for Noe and Small Tiki, they have pretty good HP values, so they can avoid things like Sudden Panic and Aversa in general. Which is another common trend to have, like, you need to make sure you have at least a good base HP, otherwise you have the potential of being sniped by getting hit with a sudden panic and then something something you're trying to tank goes after you, gets danced, and then hits you from the back. But that typically won't happen if you pick high HP units, like if you're using a plus HP Fae, her base at plus zero is 50 HP because her HP is a super boom from 46. So, he's absolutely one of the best dragons to use for this because of her great HP because she can't be panicked, she doesn't get hit by a Versa, it still seems. A little more on some of the notable people on the okay side would be Sophia, Saber, and a few others who have like, e they're either really tanky on one end or they are deceptively tanky for mixed bulk and they might be disencounter, built in disencounter units who may have fallen off the table a little bit. If you catch what I mean. That said, these are otherwise fine units to put it on. They're really good at being support, and they have very. They either have really good support or they have really good offensive capabilities from enemy phase. Not the best enemy phase units, mind you, but they're definitely up there. Now, for units you'd like to avoid using it on, these are typically units who are your supports who don't want to be on the front lines or they have a polarizing defense arrest that, that makes them easy to be sniped or they have shit HP. Either one, or they'd much rather have a different skill in their C slot otherwise. This can also go for the OK tier, but units like Nyla are pretty good with her preference C skill over, say, Infantry Breath. And if anything, she'd rather be receiving the effects herself. But there's not too much to go on here. This is just where your dancers go, and your low bulky, and your low bulk healers go. Typically, they're not front lines unless you want to do something very specific with them, like using instant miracle shenanigans or whatever. Now, I'm, now I know what you're thinking. Julia has something like close counter. Why wouldn't she be higher up? Because again, it's close counter only for dragons, and they're hitting her reds. And even that hits her paper defense is kind of a problem for her. And then the probably don't dear units who have awkward stat lines are easy or just way too easy to be sniped or either units with very very low defenses or reses or units that would actually just rather run a different Z skill altogether again kind of like the above but in a more extreme case granted anyone on this list can use infantry breath i'm using it on me personally but that's because of for very specific things i would rather tell you not to probably put it on her unless you're doing very specific things, you're doing very specific synergies. That's for pretty much everybody in the avoid and probably don't tear for this one. Now this list is only kind of a rough estimate, like maybe you think a character is higher or lower than they should be, but this just give you the general idea of what you should be doing with your infantry rep skills on who should be holding it in the first place. One of the strongest comps is when it comes to a unit who's receiving infantry rep, you typically want to have something like uh, things like Sling Wu Dao combined with Special Spiral. This lets them do things like Loop Aether on like every single re retaliation, or maybe they have uh, the Sling effect. If you don't want to use Aether, you can use Soul. So your soul's always on to cooldown, you get hit. If you if you're using a unit like Raven, who has a very high attack stat, they can always retaliate with a very strong soul attack, then they'll usually heal back most of the damage that was dealt to them. Well maybe not Raven. His HP is great, but his base defenses are kinda shit, unless you decide not to put double life and death on him or something. Well, you wouldn't put double life and death on them anyway. You put this encounter and maybe it were fine. That way he would like uh not die. <laughs> and that's basically it. But typically when it comes to the people who wants to hold infantry breath, let's just take it from an Aether Race perspective, I suppose, since that's what a lot of people seem to like have their doubts with. 
You typically want a unit with high HP because that's what the HP meta is all about. You need to be able to avoid things like sudden panic and aversa in general. Are there very strong units on enemy phase like Keaton who are very good at like uh, killing anything that hits him in the first place? Of course, he has to watch out for Hardy Bearing, but a distant counter advantage build on a Keaton is very good for someone who's holding infantry breath. Or receiving infantry breath in general but yeah for the most part your best practices for infantry breath are typically having two of them and putting both units on the front lines and uh, it frees up your a slot for bonus double or a distant counter depending on who's the unit for example i use john and he's very strong with it although i took off his preference weapon for Wu Dao so he can get more damage off of his uh noontime or maybe i can keep his preference weapon on for soul it it's it's a very it's a very decent setup but yeah absolutely for units who want to use it it's typically built-in distant counter units are units with very strong stat lines that already want to put distant counter on their a slot and have decent enough hp to dodge the usual stuff like donk tobin can also be kind of good with it i don't know i don't remember where i put him on this list but your villagers your kids or whatever or whatever fur and carl are very good users of these skills because they have the ability to loop Aether with Wu Dao power behind it, which makes them very strong users of it. Although, if I were you, I would use Fur over Carol. She's easy to merge. She can, with enough work, take hits from Ophelia, like especially during air season when it's like you have two of them, so you're getting like 10 HP and 10 res off of just having them there, and that's very important. And it also helps units who are in the range of the 40s to uh, in the low 40s of HP to dodge a Versa without having to have much investment in their HP because unless that person is using it in a Versa on their defense team with double legendaries, they're crippling themselves to the point just to get that sudden panic out. And it, just to get that sudden panic guard and a Versa hit out. And it's usually really easy to get rid of because they usually put their Dumas in a corner or something. Your legendary unit, whoever they want to use, in a corner, or the, the Versa in a corner, that makes them really easy to snipe. So, typically, you don't have to worry about a Versa on your on when you're playing Aether Rays offense because you're almost never going to see them in a composition that works, or at least that makes sense outside of very specific thing. Now, leaving infantry breath in the hands of AI is a different story, which. Yeah, obviously, probably don't do that. Unless you got like some real galaxy brain strats going on, I would definitely avoid doing that. But uh, yeah, that's all for the most part. I just kind of wanted to get that out there. Plus, it gives me an excuse to start using my voice a little bit more. I just really want to start pushing out a few more videos because I've been way too slow with this stuff lately. I've kind of had some ideas that I've been jogging around and I kind of want to try getting them out. So until then, enjoy the rest of the video. It's just me kind of doing my usual stuff in the background. If you have other questions, there's always a Discord server. I'm always there all the time doing all the random shit. You can catch me there. You can catch me shit posting on Twitter. You can follow me there. It's fun stuff. Try to have fun here. And yeah, that's all, man. I will catch y'all another time. And I want you guys to have a great day, night, or whatever time you're watching this. So until then, I will see y'all in another video. Where now? Sure. The glimmer of life. Yes. Where now? Choose your path. Sure. Okay. Yay. Where now? I see. Um. <laughs> Sure. Choose your path. 
Yes. Death's caress. Okay. 